Anita here, more time to talk, and I'm going to make a little uh, Santa gnome using um, the witch hat and the ghost that you get at the dollar store. I have a little star and um, a little bead. I'm going to put that at the, at the uh, bottom of the hat. Uh, I'm going to use a little half uh, round for the nose, and I have fabric for the hat, and of course lace for like the hat band and uh, some string to hang it. Okay, my hat band is gonna be black instead, okay? So that's gonna be the ribbon. Now let's just go ahead and paint the hat. Actually, I'm gonna do both sides um, just cause I'm trying to um, make the back a little like the front. So you will see part of this. And then, so you'll see part, of the, that'll be the front. Okay, so I'm going to leave like that to dry. I'm going to do the little uh, bead red as well. The nose, I'm going to leave it natural wood, um, but I do want to paint the back of the, the ghost. I'm going to paint that black because there's not going to be uh, the beard all the way around. So let's just paint the black. I don't know how high I have to go. So all my wood pieces are dry. The first thing that I want to do is the beard. Let's cut. So I want a really long beard, okay? Um, let's cut the book. You kind of want to move uh, the brush upwards so that you don't get all of that nice hair for the next strip. So comb it upwards. So you're going to have to take off all that loose hair. Again, lift it up. Okay, so I figured out what I'm going to do. So I cut uh, some of the fabric without cutting the hair. Just to round it off a little bit. Just cut the fabric. Now this one here, so that way you have all that nice loose hair. Make sure not to pull too much. All right, so that's all my loose hair. So this is going to be the beard. Now I'm going to glue that roughly here, and I'm going to make a mustache with the other one, okay? So let's glue this all along the edge. I'm fluff this out. Now for the mustache, I'm going to flip this up 
and I'm going to cut like a, a strip because now this is going to be too long. So I'm not going to throw that out because I might need it. Okay. Underneath here, okay. So, this is what it's going to look like so far, okay? Keep pushing that out, okay? Now, before I put my nose on, I want to do my hat. Okay, so that's the front of the hat. I'm going to grab whatever fabric uh, color that you want. And so there's going to be a piece of uh, tape there. Now I need to glue this on top of my uh, ghost part first, only because I want this to hold in place. And then um, I'm going to wrap my hat all the way around to the back. I'm going to put lots just to make sure that it holds. Okay. I'm thinking that um, a bigger uh, round knob will be perfect for this. Now, like I said, depending on how big you put the beard, the little tiny one might have been perfect, but I think this bigger knob will be uh, even better. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. My string to hold it first, because that way the string's going to be inside the hat. So grab whatever twine you have. I'm going to put that in here. Yeah. I'm going to make it long. Do the hat. I'll probably do like a little hem and go all the way around. And I want um, it to hang, so I'm going to cut a strip. I'm just going to cut right down to the other end um, and then I, it's not going to be a waste because I'll keep the other part. Okay, so let me glue the hem. I know there's going to be a ribbon there. Just this way it's nice and clean. Okay, so I'm going to glue that right about here on the edge of the hat brim. Let's glue that there. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to bring that right down. And then this one here, we're going to glue that on top. Okay, so that's what the back's going to look like. 
And then what I'm going to do is put, make a hem. So I'm going to flip the, the one side and glue that into the hat. Now you kind of want to make it like loose, okay? Now it's going to go over here like that. My string will still be up. And then I'm going to flip it somehow so that it hangs. I think put it as long as you want for your, um, I think I'm going to stuff it with some cotton balls just to make it a little puffy. So I'm going to cut mine right about here. Now I'm going to finish doing um, the hem. So I'm going to leave the gap for my string. Now let's stuff that with some cotton ball, okay? Just to make it a little, um, um, puffy. Now, um, I don't have um, the stuffing that you use for like pillows and stuff. You can use that uh, batting. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word there for a second. So I, I managed to find some a bag of cotton balls at the dollar store and uh, I decided to use that. It'll work just the same. I'll just move the batting around because I want this. I want this to um, be really small for for my bead. The string here. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of painter's tape and through. Okay, like this. Um, so for that in there, for it to stay, I'm going to take this off. is put a little bit of glue right in here so the knot doesn't um, go any higher. I might cut that just a little bit. It might be just a little too big. Okay, I want to tie this around. That really nice and tight. Okay, and then I want to put some knots here. I'll just add a little bit of glue so it doesn't undo. And then make it so that the bead doesn't roll. 
So I just want to put on here and glue it to the side. have my little star and I'm going to put my star up here. Some of the top. I feel like it's missing some little green in here. It sure does. Let me take another one. I'm going to put another one in here. Okay, so there you have it. It's all nicely placed with the mustache, the beard. You can have it a little up. I really hope this inspires you to make one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.